previously on Rags to Witches. Luna? This episode begins with the continuation of the same night that Fancy Pants seduced Bella away from Mortimer. Now we had noticed that Bella was pregnant a couple days ago, so we figured there must be a baby somewhere in the house, and sure enough, we found her up in the attic. So Fancy went to visit with the baby, she gave her some nice cuddles, um, and I think that uh, Cassandra was having some sort of nightmare. And I am really not surprised because uh, it's it's probably due to her walking in on her mother while she was having some pretty loud woohoo. But then, uh, yeah, Fancy went ahead and aged up the baby. And isn't that sweet? Look at the little baby. So yes, Fancy decided she was going to continue on with her criminal career, and this involved uh, stealing a baby. In other words, just adding her to the family. And I would have cut the uh, clip short here, except for I thought it was hilarious that Mortimer had to pee really bad and or poop. I guess he had to poop really bad, and, and the toilet was pranked, so... Uh, he ended up getting doused, and I am not sure why Sims like to stand there and get completely soaked by a broken toilet, but he did, and uh, wasn't very happy about it, but you know, guys had a rough night. So anyway, having a toddler in the house requires some responsibility, so uh, once we got the kid back home... Gave her something to eat. I think it was a grilled cheese sandwich. And, uh... Then, uh, we went ahead and... Got, got a little bit situated. I mean, new, new household member and all. Come on, baby. Oh, she's so cute. I don't like toddlers much in real life, but uh, in The Sims, I, I think they're pretty adorable, so. Anyway, I figured I better do some building because I didn't have a room for the kid, so um, we went through our stuff, and I think we just plain out sold the pancakes stuff, and then built a, built a room for the kid move some things around so we could actually put a door on it and uh, added uh, some wallpaper and uh, just some carpet. I don't usually build with carpet but um, yeah the pre-built rooms that I had bought already had carpet so I just uh, threw carpet down. Give the kid a bed and I put a toilet, a little potty chair for her. Or one of these new play tent thingies and uh, some building blocks. And here, kid, you can have the tablet too. There we go. Pretty good. So Fancy's gonna gonna potty train the kid now. Other two sisters are already in bed because it's uh, it's it was a long day. I mean, I think it's already like 6 a.m. the next day so yeah they've been they've been out all night
Alright, come on, kid. Let's go to bed. Put that kid to bed. We're gonna have all day to fuss. Takes like two hours to potty train you. Gosh. Alright, yeah, I think in the morning we might have to change that kid's clothes because why they put sunglasses on her pajamas, I, I have no idea. So, yeah. Anyway, finally, everybody gets to bed. In the morning, Bella called to see if Fancy wanted to go to the flea market. I was pretty surprised she didn't call her all panicked, like, you know, where's my baby? <laughs> nope, didn't seem to get too upset about where her kid was, who's currently glitching out pretty, pretty fierce. Okay, well, here, here's a nice hug for you. Yay. And I think everybody was hungry, so... Sassy made, uh, I don't know, she conjured up some hamburgers or something. Everybody had had a bite to eat. It was pretty, it was pretty rotten uh, flea market because it was raining outside, so they all went in for some karaoke and, you know... Yeah, Bella sure is a great singer, am I right? So, yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad, uh, pretty bad. So at this point, I uh, sent them home, took Bella with, and I was pretty amazed at her terrible outfit. So Fancy decided that uh, she was going to just ask Bella to move in with them too. We weren't going to do this, but, um, yeah, that outfit. Because I can't just go into cast and change that horrible outfit. I mean, obviously I can, but where's the fun in that? So while we're at it, we're going to go home and uh, take all the, money, all the money as well. Uh, we managed to get uh, Bella changed in some clothes. We added another bedroom, got everyone fed, and then off to bed really glad that the girls had stolen this talking toilet because it seems that is the only thing that doesn't break when sugar goes through pranking all the toilets and they actually seem to kind of like it too so that morning they they are spending their time building up some skills dancing badly that sort of thing but then uh, Bella was off to work, so it was time to get into some trouble. So, of course, uh, one of my greatest ideas here was to take them back over to the goth household. And, as usual, they got... They, they were able to just enter the house with no trouble at all. While uh, Mortimer seemed really interested in the mailbox. So... Uh, yeah, one by one they, they all went into the bathroom and, and stole something. Stole, uh, Sugar stole the couch. And then Fancy, she also stole the couch. And then Sassy went in and, uh... She uh, stole this candelabra. So, after that, they decided to go over to the park and uh, try to maybe build up a little skill with, with little Jasmine here. Because, yeah, we did figure out her name. Her name is Jasmine, the baby. Oh, Fancy's gonna take her for a slide. And yeah, they, I still think that some of these interactions are super cute. Ew, neep. <laughs> oh, it's just adorable. Cringe. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
So then this phone call came in from Ted Rowell, and he was uh, complaining about the girls uh, stealing. So uh, the girls, being who they are, decided that some, if somebody was going to tell them not to steal, they absolutely had to steal. So they went over to his house, and they stole some of his stuff. Uh, they surprisingly had no problem getting into the house, even though he was like, I don't think I want you at my house anymore. But, yeah, so they stole a piano, a bed, and, uh, I think they may have stolen another desk or something, but, um, yeah. And, turns out that toilet can get broken. Um, but that's okay, because we just, you know, they're spellcasters that fix that stuff, like, Eh. All right, well, that's enough for this episode, and I will see you later, simulators.